How the heretics, Jehovah Witnesses, are very good at producing literature in many languages, but do you know that sometimes they invent their own language? Like they make up a language that doesn't exist. And it's a funny story, it's true, you can check it up in Jehovah Witness literature. So this is more like a fun fact and not an attack on the Jehovah Witness religion. And if you're English speaking, hello. If you're English speaking, you will learn something about your own language also. So I'm Scandinavian, I'm Swedish. And just to explain the difference between Swedish, Norwegian and Danish, I will use the bake a cake example. So if you would write in English, bake a cake, in Swe Norwegian that would be bake kake, in Swedish it would be baka kaka, and in Danish it would be bake. So there's a very big difference between bake and bake kake. But if you look at this spelling from uh, the perspective of a greedy printing corporation, you will find a loophole that even though Norwegian and Danish sounds very different, bake kake, bake, it spells almost the same. So this is the studies in scripture, the old Jehovah Witness literature that started the religion. It's a very nice copy. It's called plan of the ages and unless you have a goat-like personality you probably read the spiritual food here and you look at this chart there are pyramids Jehovah Witnesses used to believe that you can measure the pyramids to find a year when Armageddon would occur and Armageddon would occur in October 1914 and so you measure the pyramids like 500 inches is 500 years and here 100 inches is 100 years, and 84 inches is 84 years. And according to this, they came up to 1914. And when Armageddon didn't come 1914, it didn't, they said, we need smaller inches. This is a historical fact, you can check it up. So they had to measure the pyramid again with smaller inches. So it's no longer 500 years, it's 550, stuff like that. I'm not making this up because I used to be one of Jehovah Witnesses. Now I'm a goat farmer with a goat-like personality. So they actually wrote this literature in a language I assume they called Danidian, because it's not Norwegian and it's not Danish, but they printed it and went from door to door and sold it for cash, both in Sweden and Norway. And I wonder if they told the householder that he was buying literature written in a language that doesn't exist. <laughs> I've tried to read it and it's interesting because the spelling is off. It's not Norwegian spelling and it's not Danish spelling, but you can read it and if you believe that the measurement of the pyramids proved that Armageddon would come in 1914, you will not die in Armageddon that came in 1914. You would die of old age like my great-grandparents did and my grandparents did, and soon my parents will, and eventually I will. And the Jehovah Witness paradise, Mwah! if there's a paradise, there must be goats. And I have goat right now. This is my paradise. So I will teach you something about English before we start. Stop. The English language have, because you notice that bake a cake and bake a cake English almost sound like Norwegian. Why is that? Well, the English language have like 50% French words, but it's not French. The grammar, like the structure the language is built on, is not French in any way. It's totally different. So 50% of the word French, but the grammar is not French. 17% of the words are Latin, but the grammar is not Latin. And I think 20% of the words in English is German or Anglo-Saxon. But the grammar in the English language is not Anglo-Saxon. 5% of the words in English, in your vocabulary, 5% of the words are actually Norwegian. From the good old days where my family used to behave like worldly people do. Killing and plundering and pillaging. And we used to have colonies in England and 
whatever happened is that they kept our language, the Norwegian language, and added foreign words like French, Latin, and end up with the English languages. It's the structure of the English language. If you speak English, you basically speak Swedish, Norwegian, and Danish. The only problem is that 95% of your vocabulary doesn't fit. <laughs> but the language, the English language, according to one expert, good like personality, self-proclaimed expert. No, I'm not self-proclaimed expert. The Bible shows that Jesus appeared invisibly and elected me as an expert in 1919. I wasn't born in 1919, but neither was the governing body. So I'm an expert in the English language and I therefore claim that English is Norwegian and Norwegian is Danish, according to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. This was a fun fact video. No criticism at all against Watchtower. So if you're a Jehovah Witness, you can like this video without dying in Armageddon. See you in paradise.